Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we will be opening the greatest zoo Minecraft has ever seen. Our zoo will have exotic creatures ranging from this cow all the way up to this. But first things first, I need your guys' help. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my zoo currently has zero animals. Unless you're counting me as an animal. Luckily for us, this lady said that if you guys leave a like on today's video with your left nostril, she'll give us our first animal. What are you guys waiting for? Do it! Oh my god, I got a cat! It's Simba! You will be the first of many animals today, young child. Oh, the, oh it's, it's latching on to me. Okay, okay, all right, you're fine. It's gonna- Ah, oh God! Ah, uh, yes. This will be where we stake the ground of our brand new Beck Bro Zoo. Ooh, we can buy zoo paths for five coins. Whoa, dude, that was epic! There's so much room for exhibits. And it looks like we could buy our first exhibit, the turtle exhibit. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, dude, this is epic. Are there any turtles here? What? <laughs> you know, it just spawned in out of nowhere. Betty said, nice work. Your first customers will be arriving on the bus shortly. We have all different types of turtles. We got a tortoise, a turtle with chicken pox, a baby turtle, and Rocky the jumping turtle. He has issues. The more animals that we have in the Beck Bro Zoo, means that we'll get even more customers. And more customers means more money. We'll be able to use that money to buy modded animals later in today's video. Yes. Welcome one and all to the Beck Bro Zoo. Whatever you guys do, don't go near Rocky. He bites. Oh yeah, guys, check it out. We're getting so many coins. And we could use that coin to buy even more exhibits. There's another bus full of people. Come on in, guys. It's only going to be five coins per entry. We're making fat stacks of cash. Okay, next up, let's buy the beach exhibit for only 20 coins. And it looks like that one's gonna be front and center, just where I like it. Yo, yes! It worked! Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. We got some hermit crabs. What do you got there, little buddy? Oh, is that uh, the helmet of a deceased warrior? That's not creepy at all. Check it out! There's also stingrays. I gotta be careful around them. What's up there, little dude? And we also got a giant hermit crab. I'm gonna call you Big Chunk. We still have a lot more space left to fill in the Beck Bro Zoo. Okay, let's see. What else can we get? These people are in paying good money just to see crabs and turtles. We need something good. Yes, bro, of course. Flamingos. Who doesn't want to see a giant pink bird that eats shrimp? Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. We just got our brand new exhibit. Flamingos. Oh, booyah, baby. I love how it just spawns in out of nowhere. Oh, God. Wait, there's there's a, there's a, there's a customer. There is a customer inside with the flamingos. I'm so sorry, sir. We don't have security yet. Whatever you guys do, don't tell anybody what you just witnessed. He will be flamingo food. Welcome, my pink brothers, to the Beck Bro Zoo. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a pretty decent job. This is good training for eventually when I open up my own zoo in real life. Oh, yeah, dude, and check it out. At the top of the screen, there's the Beck Bro Zoo success. We have a long ways to go to become the best zoo in the entire world. If we're gonna do that, we need some birds. Betty, keep an eye on the flamingos. I have more birds to find. Uh, did somebody leave the turtle exhibit open? If anybody sees a turtle on the loose, put it back, please. Okay, let's go ahead over here and we will spawn in the bird exhibit. Whoa, this looks epic, dude. There's so many birds. What the heck is this bird? Obviously, that's a turkey. We have a nice owl. Owls kind of creep me out, especially because they can turn their head like 360 degrees. We got Toucan Sam. There's a duck. Oh, if there's a chicken in here, we can make a turducken. Whoa, bro, we got a falcon. Oh my god, that is a giant mouth chicken. I wonder if I could ride on these. Oh, holy smokes, I can. All right, I can't let any of the villagers see that. I'm gonna have Peter come out here and arrest me. I didn't even notice yet, but dudes, we are getting rich from this zoo. I have 191 coins, and I only started out with 10. You guys should totally leave a like on today's video, because if you do, you'll be investing into the Beck Bro Zoo. Every one like is one coin. And trust me, guys, you're gonna wanna make that investment now, because we are about to buy the monkey exhibit, aka my brother Dirt Boy. And of course, you guys already know, we need to put the monkey He's dead center so that people can admire their greatness. <laughs> Yo, dude, this monkey wants out. It looks like there's a couple gorillas in there. I'm fully expecting to see turds all over the walls. I swear, that's all monkeys do, bro. They eat banana.
bananas and they throw turds at the wall. Actually, I did read something that said that monkeys don't even really like bananas. Is there a way that I could get inside of the monkey exhibit? I mean, it doesn't really seem like it, but low key, that's probably for the best because uh, if I can get in, that means they could probably get out. I don't know what it is, guys, but for some reason, these monkeys don't really look like monkeys. They kind of look like squirrels and Yoda combined together. Speaking of squirrels, bro, there's a squirrel in this escape. <laughs> Yo, dude, we got a code blue squirrel on the loose. Stay calm. I'm gonna leave that there. We're getting a lot of people at the Beck Bro Zoo. Oh my god. Yo, dude, there's more. We gotta keep this moving. Okay, next up, we can get the mutant exhibit for 150 coins. Is that what I think it is? Okay, we gotta travel all the way over there. I gotta get myself like a motorcycle or a helicopter. Let's go ahead and spawn in the mutant creature zoo. Yo, dude. Okay, okay, everybody stay calm. We got a couple customers that got trapped in here, and I'm pretty sure they just died. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, dear God. Come back, come back, come back in. There, no, don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare jump down. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before something seriously wrong happens to my body. I like my body in one piece, and I'm pretty sure that creeper does not like when my body's in one piece. Don't look at me like that. All right, everybody stay calm. We got a mutant spider creature on the loose. Whatever you do, do not feed it cookies. Those cookies are mine. Even though we had a slight mishap with our mutant spider pig escaping the exhibit, we're still making fat stacks of cash. The Beck Bro Zoo stonk is going through the roof. And let's see, next up, we can get our hands on the lizard exhibit. Wait a second, that kind of looks like a dragon. Okay, the lizard exhibit is going to be way over here, and we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in. Whoa, dude, this place is awesome. Wow, there's so many creatures in here. There's a giant dragon lizard. There's a iguana. There's a, I don't even know what that thing is. Oh, a little tiny guy. Oh, there's a chameleon. This is one of the coolest exhibits yet. Uh, did that flamingo just fly? I thought you were supposed to be a flightless bird, dude. Are you guys secretly eagles in disguise? Did somebody paint the eagles pink and say they were flamingos? Because honestly, I would believe it. Guys, I'm getting a little bit worried about the amount of people we have in our zoo. It's only me and Betty. Nobody else works here. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Next up, we get the ocean exhibit for 200 coins. And check out the Back Bro Zoo success bar. We're not even halfway there and we have so many awesome exhibits. Okay, it looks like the ocean exhibit is going to be way over there in in the east section of the Beck Bro Zoo. Yo, this thing looks like it's gonna be ginormous, dude. That is amazing. Oh my, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a shark? Oh dear mother of God. Um, hey, uh, what is actually down there? That is, that is not, that is not of this world. We got some sort of crazy creature in there. I was expecting to see, I don't know, like a dolphin or a penguin. That is like the final boss battle in Squid Game, bro. Ooh, I do see a jellyfish down there. I have a weird feeling that that this thing is going to kill every other creature in the ocean exhibit. I gotta do something about this. I'm going in, boys! Where is it? So far, I don't see it. Um, guys, I don't see anything in here. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't see anything in here, which probably means that it has the ability to go invisible. And then it's gonna steal all of my money, and then I'm not gonna be able to build the zoo anymore. I also saw that there was an underground section. Ah, yes, down here. Whoa. Oh, there's other exhibits, too. We have our own little aquarium. Oh, check it out. We got some sort of cephalopod. I love me some cephalopod. There's also a squid, some baby shrimps, a ginormous catfish. That thing weighs more than me. Oh my gosh, wait, there's more. Check it out, dudes. There's so many fish. Oh, yo, yo, is that a shark? I think we actually have our first ever shark in our exhibit. Fun fact, we actually can't put great white sharks in aquariums. For whatever reason, they always have problems. Okay, that is clearly the best exhibit by far. And I think everybody else agrees because guys i don't know if you guys have noticed but check out my coins we have over 1700 coins so far we've had some pretty crazy creatures but i have a feeling we could get even crazier i mean bessie is privately funding this so if i know my cow bessie she's gonna have me add the craziest mobs you've ever seen like this a dragon exhibit for only 300 coins dude that is highway robbery that is a straight steal guys i'm nervous but i'm excited let's check this out oh Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, there's two. There's a fire dragon and an ice dragon. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry, bro. You should have you should have probably backed up 
when I was spawning in my dragon exhibit? Did you not hear me screaming? Okay, we're gonna name you Inferno version 2 and Frostbite version 2. Uh, how do I get out of here? These guys look awfully hungry. Oh, oh, can I ride on this thing? Oh, yo, that is epic. I can't tell if he likes me. Best friends forever. Oh, he loves me. Everybody, come on over here. We got dragons, boys. Oh, they are rushing towards the dragons. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Dragons are pretty cool, but I think that we can add in something even cooler. Butterflies. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Butterflies, you know, dragons are probably way cooler than butterflies. But wait until you guys see this butterfly exhibit. Um, is that a stray porcupine? You know what? I'm just gonna act like I didn't see it. Part of the reason why the people love to come to the Beck Bro Zoo is because they get, you know, very, very live interactions with animals. You could come so close to the point where a porcupine could attack you. That's just the small price you gotta pay. Oh my god. There's so many butterflies. And not only butterflies, look, we got dragonflies. There's a fly that is spewing and pooping out ice. Ladybug flies. Snails. Okay, maybe it's not as cool as the dragon exhibit. But don't worry, gamers. I got something that'll knock your socks off. Let's check it out. Boom. Desert exhibit. Look at that. It's a camel. We're not only gonna get just that. We have tons of money, so we're gonna get the penguin exhibit and the griffin exhibit. We just got three for the price of uh, three. Yeah, I think I still paid for the price of three. Let's see what this one's gonna be. Yo, dudes! I love how the villagers get stuck inside of the exhibits. Yeah, this is the first one where we actually decided to put a roof on it. I mean, other than the butterfly sanctuary, probably should have done that with the mutant creatures. But you know, you live and you learn. We got some camels in this one. Oh, check it out, dudes. We also got a vulture. My favorite. Camels and vultures. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty cool. This guy's loving it. Oh, did, okay, maybe he just left. Oh, check it out, boys and girls. Next up, we got penguins. My favorite flightless birds. Oh, dudes, there's even babies. Oh, they're adorable. Look at his big, goofy eyeballs. Oh, I love it. I love it. They're so cute. And they can't even fly. We also still have a massive space right here for one of the most insane exhibits that I think you guys aren't even gonna believe. Stick around till the end to see that. But for right now, let's go ahead and we're gonna spawn in this. I genuinely have no idea what this is. What did I just buy? <laughs> what is this thing, dude? It is so majestical. I'm gonna name you Fluffly Sparkly Pants. I'm pretty sure this is a griffin. That has to be the most epic thing you've ever seen in a zoo. I don't know about you guys, but I love animals. I want you guys to go in the comment section right now and comment which animal you would want to see in the Beck Bro Zoo. The Beck Bro Zoo is turning out to be one of the best zoos in the entire world. And we're not even done. Okay, let's see what else money can buy. Lions! Yes! We're about to have Mufasa! Okay, we're gonna put the lion exhibit way over here in the corner. That way the people can come see their pink flightless birds, the ginormous dragons, sparkly fluffy pants, and then they'll be able to see lions. Okay, all right, just don't, no sudden movements. Don't look at me like that. Hey, yo, 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 do not look at me like I look at my lunch every single day. I do not want to become lion lunch. We're getting a lot of money, boys. Let's see, what else can we buy? Let's get a snake exhibit. We can also get an elephant exhibit, a giraffe exhibit, and with a little bit more money, we can get the forest exhibit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we did it. We got some elephants, boys. The smartest land mammal other than me. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. They're slurping up that water right now. Yo, Loki, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of wish sometimes I had a trunk. That way I could slurp up a bunch of water and I could squirt it at whoever I want. I mean, would I look very stupid? Yes, I would, but it'd be worth it. Okay, we're gonna name you Mo, Larry, and Curly. We'll be back to see you boys later. Next up, let's see. Whoa, dudes, giraffes. Oh my goodness. They're so ginormously tall. I feel like a young child looking up at their dad. And there's even a baby one right here. Aw, you're so cute and adorable. I'm pretty sure since giraffes are so tall, it takes like two days for their food to get from their face all the way to their stomach. And guys, right over here, let's see. Whoa. Oh, it's the snake exhibit. I low-key kind of forgot because I uh, maybe bought that like five minutes ago. Okay, let's see. What kind of snakes do we have? Looks like there's a cobra. There's like an anaconda. We got the spinny snake. It's a rare breed. Don't get me wrong. I love snakes, especially like ball pythons. I always want a ball python when I was younger, but uh, snakes are also pretty deadly and terrifying. Comment down below if you have a pet snake. And also, what type of snake is it and what's its name? Alright, while we've been building out more things, we've got more money. Which means we can buy more exhibits. Let's get the forest exhibit, and we can also afford the ram exhibit. I didn't even know rams were in Minecraft. Then again, I didn't realize half of these things were in Minecraft. Honestly, Mojang
game should keep adding more animals into Minecraft. There's already a ton of great mods that do it, but I mean, imagine if you didn't have to install any mods and you could have every animal you see in this video in Minecraft. That would be epic. Okay, let's see. This one should be, wow, the ram exhibit. That is a massive ram. Do rams get that big? I mean, I am six foot tall, so that ram has to be like, like Shaquille O'Neal size. He's gotta be like seven foot five. And then there's like these little guys over here and somebody accidentally put a sheep in the ram exhibit. This sheep is gonna get rammed. Good luck, sheep. And then way over here in the corner, we are going to add in the deer exhibit, aka the forest exhibit that has deer. It has a ginormous moose. I've actually seen one moose ever in my life, and I will tell you, they are this big. You never really think about a moose being bigger than a, a human person, but it just is. I can't tell if they're farting or if they're making noises at me. I'm gonna really hope that they're not farting. Yeah! Give me your money! <laughs> I love when they come in, they just start throwing money in the air. They just make it rain. Okay, next up, let's see. We have tons of money. We can afford the polar bear exhibit and, oh, no, wait. Yeah, we can afford the reindeer exhibit. We have to go way in the back to build these. Let's go ahead and get this one in here. Oh my goodness. That is the weirdest looking polar bear I've ever seen. That polar bear definitely missed a couple updates. <laughs> Over here, there's a seal. I'm pretty sure polar bears eat seals. I would hide if I were you. And then right across the way, we can go ahead and we can build the reindeer exhibit. So I guess this whole section is going to be the winter wonderland area. Okay, we got one reindeer here. We have Rudolph anywhere. I mean, this reindeer looks pretty cool. Oh, I could ride on its back. Yes. Whoa, dude. Oh, you're now mine. You're coming out of the exhibit. You've been upgraded to my deer. Okay, this guy's a lot slower than I thought he'd be. Pretty sure my 95-year-old grandmom is faster than this. There's so many people coming. Yes, more people equals more money. More money equals more animals like this wild boar. Wow, we're gonna need 2,800 coins to get the alligator. And then eventually we're gonna need 10,000 coins to get the Twilight Forest exhibit. Dude, that is a lot of money. To speed up that process, we're gonna keep adding more animals to the Becro Zoo. Like these ginormous warthogs. What's up, Pumbaa? I guess this is the king of all of the wild boars. These guys are minuscule in comparison. You guys are puny. And then we got this guy over here who I'm pretty sure just stuck his head in a wall. I guess you're the dumb one of the group. Come on, just a little bit more. And we got the alligator exhibit. Okay, that's gonna be way in the back. Let's go, Reginald. We got a lot of ground to cover. Two thousand years later. And we made it. Let's see. This is going to be uh, the alligator exhibit. I gotta make sure that I do not get my toes chomped off. Oh, dude, I love that there's always babies inside of every single exhibit. They're adorable. Not, not you. You are a freaking dinosaur. You're the adorable one. Oh, you're so cute, little guy. Okay, your dad is growling at me. I'm gonna be on my way. There's only a few more animals left to add before we become the best zoo ever. Yo, dudes, we got the hippo exhibit next. Let's go. I've been waiting for this one. This one's gonna be way in the back, right next to the alligator exhibit. Hey, there we go. Okay, all right. I'm gonna steer clear of these hippos because supposedly they are one of the most aggressive animals ever created. Yeah. I just, uh, just, I'm gonna look at you from a distance. I do not want to be attacked by a hippo. They have ginormous teeth and they don't even, I don't even think they eat people. They just like, they'll chomp you up or they'll run you over like a freaking bus. They do look kind of cute though, especially the baby one. I can't believe how many people are in my zoo. I also don't know exactly what they're doing here. They're not even really looking at exhibits. They're kind of just running in circles. As long as they're giving me money, I don't care what they're doing. They could be picking their butt for all I care. Next up, zebra exhibit. This one's gonna be pretty massive, boys. Oh yeah, check it out. We could probably fit a couple more zebras in here. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can ride on the back of this guy. Come on, it's okay. I know you want to. Yes, we got a zebra. I'll bring your dad back later. We gotta go get some milk. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, boys and girls. This is real speed. There's only a few more exhibits left to get. And the next one that we can afford is the SCP exhibit. It does not seem smart to add in this exhibit. SCPs are notoriously deadly creatures. But I mean, if people want to come pay money to see it, I'm not going to stop them. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. That is a ginormous butthole. These guys are terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Luckily, it seems like they know that I am the master. There's the statue. There's the demo dog SCP. And then this guy, which I feel like he might be humans refuted. I don't think anybody wants to look at that. But it's kind of like one of those situations where it's almost like you have to look like it's so ugly that you just 
just can't look away. Everybody, SCPs are in the back. Just don't get too close. You might die. Coming up next, we have the Parasite Exhibit. And the final one that we need just a little bit more money for is the Twilight Forest Exhibit. That one's gonna be the best one. This looks like a good spot for it. Yes, dude. Okay, I think I made a big mistake. As long as these guys don't escape, I think this is okay. <laughs> these dudes look so cursed. Check it out. There's even a horse, bro. Okay, I hear doors opening and I really hope people are not trying to get in here. And it looks like the Parasite Exhibit is about to get us to 10,000 coins. Yes, guys, we made it. Let's do it in three, two, one. And this one's gonna go right in the center. Oh my God, success. Your zoo is amazing. Look how much money we have. Bro, there is a Hydra inside of our zoo. And I'm pretty sure he just murdered one of our customers. Yeah, you guys really should not be in here. We even have the Alpha Yeti in our exhibit. And <laughs> a baby Naga boss. This is officially the best day of my life. So the first animal that we shall be adding is a zebra. Oh my gosh. Okay, we placed out a giant crate and we got one. Okay, now we should not run off just yet. We need to make sure that the zebra is happy and healthy by giving it some food and water. Okay, so in my inventory, I should have some food and water. We have bundles of leaves and also water buckets. Okay, so do I feed it to uh, the zebra? Which you guys need to leave comments down below of what I should name my animals that I get in today's video. All right, first step. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, so we, 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 we fed him and we can make him nice and hydrated with a water bucket. Now, even though he looks happy, we need to double check by using the animal scanner. I use this on Tuco all the time to make sure that he is well fed. Okay, so if I hold out the animal scanner and right click, it'll tell me all the different information. Oh, Tuco's moving. Oh gosh, oh, his foot is next to my eye. Okay, Tuco, fine. I'm gonna double check on our zebra. Uh, It is happy. It is 90% nutritious, but it's only 30% hydrated. We also need to make sure that the environment and the enclosure is okay for the different animals that are spawning in. So for example, we should not spawn a lion in an aquarium exhibit because even though big cats know how to swim, I don't think they like to. Tuco, I'm sorry. All right, I won't do it. I will not put a lion inside of an aquarium. It was just a joke, pal. Okay, let's make sure that our zebra is fully hydrated now. There we go. All right, buddy. Don't worry. We'll be back and add more zebras. Oh, nice. Check this out, guys. There's vehicles. We can use these to get around my awesome zoo faster. Inside, we have Rick the Ranger that I can buy brand new animals from. So we'll uh, get a couple more zebras. We have one male zebra and a female zebra. Over here is Victor the Vendor. He sells some things, but most importantly, he sells extensions to our zoo so we can make it even bigger. We need 10 blue animal coins for that. Right now, we have eight. Every single day that goes by, we'll get more and more animal coins by the amount of animal that we have. So the more animals that we're taking care of, the more coins we'll actually get. Don't worry. Ow. I am here with friends. We'll spawn in another zebra and then we'll put a female zebra right over here. Oh, look at them. They're so adorable. They're like horses, but they're striped. Okay, let's make sure that they're doing okay. Uh, the hydration is a little bit low. So there you go. Take some of that. You can also have a bundle of leaves. And you as well, my fellow newcomer. You can get some leaves and also some water buckets. Just like that, guys. We have a successful zebra exhibit. Oh, awesome. I went into the staff room and I found some animal treats. What other goodies can I find? An animal transport crate that we could use to transport animals. And some animal treats. A food trough that can automatically feed all the animals in the enclosure. And a water station that automatically gives water to all of my animals. Well, it's a good thing I went in an area that I wasn't supposed to. Don't tell my mom, Tuco. Let's try to add in the food trough right here. And then right next to it, we can add in the water station. Oh yeah, look at that. So now the zebra should be able to get food and water all by themselves. I'm not entirely sure why they weren't able to drink from the pond that is over here in the corner. But that's all right. Don't worry, Tuco. I forgot. We can try to breed the animals together now. Oh, Tuco doesn't want me to. He's moving. We gotta do it, Tuco. It's for the greater good. This is way cheaper than buying new zebras. Okay, we need to make sure that they're all lovey-dovey. Come on over here. Come on. I need to somehow lure them to each other. 
Move your big striped butt. Why isn't he moving? Wait, maybe I can use one of these animal transport crates. Okay, we'll spawn the zebra right next to this one. Give it the animal treat. Do something, please. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the transport crate again. Put down our striped horse. And let's see if this works. Wait, I think it is. Yo, we got it. It's just a tiny baby. Get out of your mom's butt, guys. It's so adorable. Look at it. It doesn't really know how to run. It looks so awkward. Oh my goodness. Let's make sure it's also happy and healthy. It is. Everybody's looking happy. We're doing it, Tuco. Rancher Rick gave me a call and he said that I could get even more zebras. But see, you see, the problem is that if I get too many zebras, the enclosure is going to become super crowded. So I'm going to take my giraffe mobile and see if I can find any other rangers selling other animals. Tuco is on the move. I was just out buying some more zebras and he jumped off my head. Buddy, buddy, you don't got to do this. Don't do this, pal. I got him. I got him. He's safe. He's back on my head. Don't worry, Tuco. I know we have a lot of zebras. I don't think he likes all the zebras that we have. Ranger Rick refuses to sell me anything other than zebras. So right now we are a zebra zoo. That is a big freaking zebra. Zoo tier one. Unlocked additional animals. We got enough zebras. I told you, Tuco. All we needed was a little bit of patience. All right. Rick the rancher. What else you got? Whoa. Wait, we have access to so many more animals. We can get a tortoise? A toucan? Ah, he doesn't want a toucan. All right, fine. I'll do a tortoise. I'll do a tortoise. Oh, gosh. He's on my ear. We also have access to a mandrill, an okapi, a penguin, a meerkat, koalas, and vultures. But Tuco wants some tortoises, so we shall get two. He's on the back of my chair now. Oh, he's on my arm. He's got some sharks. He's got he's got some, some spikes. He's got some shark teeth for spikes. I think this is better. Enclosure Savannah number two. All right, this is where we can put our tortoises. As always, guys, leave name suggestions down in the comments. So that's our first tortoise, the male tortoise. And this will be the female tortoise. I think the female might be a little bit bigger. Okay, let's check out on their animal scanners. This one is pretty happy and healthy. It's hydrated. It has full nutrition. This is great. In every single one of our exhibits, Bits, I think it would be best if I had a food station and a water station. Oh, look at it, guys. I mean, the animations are so cool. They go down and eat, and I think they can go inside of their shells. All right, so we can put the food trough right there and the water station there. This is a really big enclosure for just two tortoises. Or is it, is it torti? Tortellinis? Tuco, what's the plural for tortoise? Tuco is just a lizard and does not know things. Let's see if we can breed them together. Guys, wait, I can't see it. Move. There's a baby tortoise hidden in some other tortoises. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Look how tiny it is. Tuco, we have created a baby tortoise. Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, he used my face. As as a as a wall to climb on. He scratched my cardia. All right, well, I'm gonna let my co-captain Tuco kind of just hang out and do his thing for the time being. I just received my daily paycheck, which means we can get tons of new animals. Okay, so we could buy some more zebras. I think we're gonna hold off on zebras for right now. What I am going to do is get some mandrill monkeys, some penguins, a couple of meerkats that I think would be cool if we put with our tortoises, two koalas, and two vultures. Guys, check it out. There's some people that really like our tortoises. We have an entire family. The baby one is our newest member. I love him. I would die for this tortoise. Okay, but let's see now what happens if we mix different animals together. That is a big crate for a tiny creature. Okay, now that they're both in the exhibit, let's automatically just have them make a baby animal. We got zoots here too. That means we unlocked additional animals. How is that thing so tiny? That thing is tinier than my left foot. And the best part is that we have the water station and the food trough. So I don't think I need to worry about my animals. Yeah, most of them are pretty happy. Their nutrition is 100% and their hydration is also around 100%. Before I add in our next animals, I am going to attempt to bring back Tuco. All right, here is my tiny bearded dragon. Oh, here you go, pal, right on my head. <laughs> I think he's comfy up there. All right, buddy, you are in the perfect position to witness our next animal addition, which are the koalas. I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I'm supposed to add them. That is the jungle symbol right next to their name. So we're going to go plop them in. One and numero dos. Okay, now that they're in, we're going to get them in some animal treats. Love each other. 
Go ahead, little dude. Yes, yes, there we go. And we have our first baby koala of the Beck Bro Zoo. Am I a good zookeeper or what? We, we just unlocked zoo tier three and got even more animals. Duko, Duko, what are you, what the flip are you thinking? This man is a psycho. Oh gosh, okay, he is, he's on the chair behind me. Tuco is obviously not a fan of koalas. Just to be safe, we'll add in the food trough and also the water station. All right, let's check up on their health. 100% and 100%, that's good. Same here, and for the baby, they're at 90%, but it looks like he's taking a bath, so his hydration should go up. Our next exhibit is the penguin that we can add into the tundra biome. I like it in here, it's nice. It's a little bit cold. It has some snow. Plus, the best part is that there's so much room for the animals. Okay, let's test it out. So we'll add in one penguin there and another penguin there. And then immediately we're going to try to breed them together just so we can get a third penguin as fast as possible. Is it working? Does it work? Yes, yes. Boom, there we go. That is how baby penguins are made, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, wait, dude, it's in the water. That is adorable. Check it out. Dude, wait, look at it. It can actually swim. Oh, I love penguins so much. And as always, guys, you know the drill. We need a food trough and also a water station. Mr. Rickety the Rancher. Let's see what other animals I have unlocked. We have lions, cloud leopards, snow owls, something called an ibex, a capybara. That's like a big guinea pig. And a moose. Guys, right off the bat, we are going to buy lion. I can't believe it. All right, should I put lions in with my zebras? It could be a good test. See, I don't know if all of the animals are going to get along. In the wild, every single animal, you know, lives together in harmony, even though sometimes they do eat each other, but you know, that's just a part of the natural cycle of life. But what I can do is place down a lion, and if it starts to try to attack one of our zebras, we will immediately transport it. All right, here we go, moment of truth in three. Two, one, there's a big lion. Don't, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look at me. Wait, is it a friendly lion? I think it might be friendly. All right, it worked. We can have lions and zebras in the same exhibit. And look at that. They have a female lion and the best part is it doesn't have a mane. I thought maybe it would. Um, but yeah, in the wild, the lionesses, they, uh, they don't have the big manes that the males do. That is cool and we have a baby cub. Um. What's going on? No, no, get it. No, wait a second. Oh gosh. Oh no, dude, wait. I'm gonna have to transport the entire family out of here. But guys, for the time being, let's go add our two lions over into their own exhibit. It's probably best if we separate them, but it was at least a good experiment to see what would happen. They had another baby. Oh, it's so cute. Don't worry, I will get your other baby cub back soon enough. We'll give you your very own food trough and a water station. Okay, even though they just tried to attack the zebras, uh, it seems like they're pretty happy. Welcome, ladies and Yo, gentlemen, guys, to my brand what's up? new We zoo. are starting a zoo. Wait. Today. Yo! Uh, yo! Whoa! Whoa! Did you, did you escape? Did you open a zoo right next to my zoo? My coop. I'm starting a zoo. <laughs> I have no idea you were starting a zoo. <laughs> what's up? What's Here we up? go, okay, zero, okay. zero. I will murder you and put you in the polar bear exhibit. I automatically win. Get into my zoo. Get okay. into my zoo. Oh get, my get, get, get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Dude, the stakes are so much higher. Oh, I didn't know this was a competition. <laughs> yes, sir. Wait, wait. How do I get people to come to my zoo? They're, I have no animals. Yes, sir. Nah, dude, you are the animal. You are dirt boy. <laughs> my zoo's empty. Wait a second. Okay, people. <laughs> Get your butt in here. Yo, I'm wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Hey, they don't want to. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're taking hostages. Oh my everybody, God, this is so funny. Everybody, my zoo has free cookies. Free. Oh crap. Uh, dirt boy is here. Oh gosh, I have nothing. You have animals in your zoo? Um, Don't tell anybody, but no, not yet. Dude. Not yet, but I will. I, after they come into the zoo and they realize there's there's nothing, it doesn't matter because I already stole their money. Oh my gosh. Dude, your zoo stinks. I, I have so have, many animals get, in guess my much money zoo. I, have. I got two hundred fifty dollars. Oh my gosh! What's up, bro? I'm what, stealing what, your villagers. What, you you got you got nothing on me. Wait, I got three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Come here! I'm taking every single villager that wants to go in your zoo. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 Sucker! Why are you carrying it like a little baby? 
I don't know. <laughs> they, they, I think they get small. All right, ladies and gentlemen, okay. I need you guys' support. If you guys think that my zoo is going to become the best zoo, be no, sure no, 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 like. no. Get me get back here. Can I pick up multiple villages at the same time? No, you can't. You can only pick up one. I'm not strong enough for multiple. Dude, yep. they're disappearing. To get the best zoo. Wait. <laughs> what? Yo. Get Give me. I just stole your villager, sucker. <laughs> he already paid jokes on you. No, he did not. There's no he way. He did. I see his money. It's on, it's on oh, the conveyor crap. belt. Let's go. Oh, he's going to pay again. Oh, look at this. Next time you come through, Adam, you better be wearing a helmet. Uh, What does that mean? I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stay away. Okay. Let's see how much money I got. exhibit. <gasps> I got birds. That was oh so Oh my sick. gosh, I have so much money. <laughs> okay. Wait, how do you have $800? Oh, I was just racking up cash. I also have a bird exhibit now. What's okay, so, up? so 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 now now that we have extra exhibits, right? The people will pay more money to see the birds. They pay extra at my zoo. I charge more. Are you I'm in awesome. the exhibit? Like are you are you a part of the yes, attraction? I am dirt boy and you're a flipping monkey. Get back. People in the are zoo. coming for my free cookies and genuine good time in it. They hate you. <laughs> I told everyone you smell What you say bad. to me? What you say? <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Yo! No, 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 no. Open up with Get away from me! <laughs> Security! Security! <laughs> I I, you can kill money. me? What the <laughs> heck? No, 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 no. The zoo Dude, game is a dangerous game, it's young on. man. No, get away from me. You ever oh, hear you of Carol came. Baskin? <laughs> oh, I got myself a crowbar, buddy. What's up? Killed her husband, whacked him. <laughs> get out of here. Wait, get please don't whack me. We're just going to be friends now. Oh, now we're friends. You just murdered <laughs> don't, me. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Just, just leave, leave my man's alone. Oh, look at this. I could buy security. Huh. Wait, uh, how much is security? Wait, I have security. It's I got two zombie security guards. Dude, they didn't even try to anything. stop you. They just laughed at me. Oh, wait a second. It says purchase guard. $25,000. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of monies. I don't remember guards being so expensive. <laughs> Villagers, over here. I have an amazing bird exhibit. I got birds. And guess what else I got there, boy? <laughs> that's all I got. I got polar bears. No way. <laughs> no way. Three, I got to go quick. Three, two, one. Let's go. No, 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 no. I got to bring more know villagers. That villagers are you. willing to pay more to see the polar bears? I didn't know that. Crap. But now I do. <sighs> I got to move. Okay, okay. What do you say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, 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 so you can upgrade the conveyor speed as well so you can get Here the money go. even faster. <laughs> it just tickled. Die, die. I'm stealing your money. No, 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 no. Back it up, back it up. No, no. You got it. See you later, sucker. I'm taking it right back out of your pocket. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, look at my money. Oh, you I barely just, took I anything. I just stole half of it, didn't I? No, you, no, you, you took like maybe 20%. Wait, how did you get so much money? Did I have that much money? Just Yeah, there? I stole a ton of money from you. What and I got a polar bear exhibit. Let's go. Hold up, hold up. Okay, We're okay, back okay. in the race. New animal coming at you live through the power of monkeys. Yeah, oh, we got monkeys. Oh, chimpanzees. We got, I think that might be an orangutan. Orangutan, 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 orangutan. How do you get monkeys? A um, thousand dollars? Yeah, it is. Oh, you just made a money? Quite, quite a little bit of money. Well, you can, <laughs> we can see each other's money. <laughs> okay, how much Mark are people Mark. willing to pay now? Whoa, bro. Yo, yo, people are willing to pay gold nuggets. Ooh. I am literally yeah, just same. making racks on top of stacks. Excuse me, I hey, want to go hey, check hey. out this no, super no, no, cool no, zoo please. over here. Do not kill my, do not steal my money. There's so many cool things in this You zoo. can check out the monkeys. Whoa, this door is open. Hey, wow, I, got I need money. security. <laughs> no, money. get him out of here. Yo. Get your butt out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Zombies, get him. Security guards have zero brain cells. Zombies, oh my gosh, they're so trash. Get crapped on, boy! No. How do you have 4,000? Oh my gosh, you stole so many monies. Do you have another exhibit yet? Now I will soon. Wait, I might actually be able to buy one. I haven't even looked around my entire zoo yet because I've been really scared that you're going to come in and steal all my money. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff we can get. Okay, let's see. Next up. Ooh, lions! Sick! What the heck's in here? Yo, guess who has lions? You got lions? I got lions. I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> 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 Keep talking smack. <laughs> I am a lion. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> it's, it's a little scary. It's a little sus. Well, it's time to play ball, buddy. Think everybody, I'm messing around. Er everybody watch out. Adam Adam might eat my face today, which is slightly concerning. If you concerning. guys don't like it, subscribe. I'm eating all your faces. <laughs> I'll pay the 50. Okay, look. Okay. I'm going to pay. The okay, price for you in. is $10,000. Actually, $2,500. I'm just seeing everything that's going to... Ah! No! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I can never trust Give me the money. Give me the money. Oh, this was not worth You're it. Dead now. This was You're not worth it. Was it worth it? <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on. Third point, any last words? <laughs> <laughs>
I need backup. I really need to buy security. <laughs> Are you still chasing me? <laughs> get away from me! <laughs> I gotta fight back. <laughs> you stupid lions, get them! <laughs> Polar bears, help me! Help me! <laughs> so no! Bad. No! Oh, thank you for this $2,700. Oh my gosh, that's so many. You have 12000 I need so much. Why are you hey, doing so hey, many hey, damages? Hey, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you need security. I'm coming for the kill. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so fast. I'm taking your villager. Yo, whoa, whoa. I didn't even like that villager. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, let's see. Next up, what do I want? Gorilla? I think you need to take a break. Draft zebra a combination. I don't I don't know. Um, let's go draft zebra. Whoa! You should probably save up for security. Yes, dude! Villager willing no. to pay more to see this. No. Wait, hold Hold okay. up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even realize, food. bro. Some of these prices are insane. One million dollars. are 25K. One million dollars for an elephant. What? I'm not spending a million dollars on that Five hundred thousand dollars for a moose. Yo! This better be this, crazy. This, this moose better be made of just gold chunks. That better be the biggest moose ever. Dude, is there a special way to use this thing? <laughs> yes, you need to wait until it ah! reaches. <laughs> I'm dead again. This, is this thing is trash. My zoo is so cool. Ooh, I have a lot of money. Yeah, wait a second. I actually almost have enough for a wait, security guard. How? You're getting so much. Okay, what do I get next? I think I'm I might go. actually... Yes, I have enough. Oh, so close for gorillas. Wait, is this gorillas? Yes, gorillas. No. You need to get security. No. I'm not going to stop. I am what? the security. What are you, you going to do? You walk through me? You're going to have to get those gorillas eventually. And I'm coming <laughs> through, buddy. It's either you buy security or you buy the gorillas. Don't and I take it. everything. Don't you do it. No, it's up. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. kill you. <laughs> Bye, dirt boy. I gotta focus on getting Until these villagers. Until next time. I'm taking everyone. How okay. do you have so much okay. money? All right. So I'm gonna need you to. All right, Jack, let's just go. Kill. Oh, let's go. Bucks. I give me that. I don't know if it was worth What'd it. Would you just buy? But I got somebody that's gonna Did keep an eye on you. I mean, he's gonna keep. A, <laughs> you he's gonna keep both of his eyes on dirt boy. You actually got security? Maybe. <laughs> your drafts don't even look like drafts. <laughs> oh, oh, let's test out your security. Ah! There's no security. <laughs> look, on the at side. This, look at this trash can. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait don't, don't kill me. I did the wrong you side. Gotta <laughs> your security. You gotta yeah, test your security. Yeah, go, go look at this security. fool. Hey, where look is at he? that fool. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> look at that trash can. Ah, you stole seven thousand. I'm out of here. Look at your security. security. He's a joke. <laughs> ah! Ah! He's not a joke. He's coming Come after on. me. Oh, I gotta run. <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> no security. <laughs> that dude was trash. <laughs> no. <laughs> what were you saying? You just stole said that dude was trash, <laughs> but he was. Oh crap. No. My game just crashed. Don't. You can't do anything. <laughs> You can't do anything. Now is my time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dirt Boy has risen from the dead. <laughs> What's up, Dirt Boy? Yeah? Dirt Boy is back. $20,000. Just got $21,000. From what? Are you kidding me? All the villagers, I, as, as soon as you, you, I told them that you shut your zoo down. So they kind of started oh my coming gosh. to mind. Okay. I'm going to start <laughs> spreading the rumor that you have fake animals. <laughs> you're literally you're literally selling poison at your zoo. Okay. Gorillas. Right, here we go. Yo, wait. The gorilla exhibit is kind of sick. That's actually Yo, crazy. Uh, Jack, Jack's animals are fake if you want to go to my zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lying. Lies. Spreading false information. That is illegal. Hey, fake animals. Hey, and hey, this guy hey. smells. This, 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 this guy eats dirt. No, no. This, do not walk guy, in there. This guy feeds his animals dirt. They're if you walk in there, the then, then you don't like cookies. <laughs> I got him. Get out of here. Yeah, you hate cookies. You, you want to get you banned? Loser. I can't eat. What did you do? I can't even hit you. I can't even hit you. What did you do? You, I'm you hacker? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to go back to game. <laughs> you have five thousand dollars to your entire name. I got tigers though. Who who else? Who else has tigers? Nobody on this block. This is my block. Uh, how do you make your conveyor belt speed up? Oh, okay. You see, okay. this is why you I don't open it, up a zoo it. next to the zoo tycoon master. Back pro zoo man. Okay, easy there, buddy. <laughs> Uh, we get you. We get you. Big Bro Wildlife. Uh, I heard you the first time, man. You're good. You're good. Bang! Big 22K. Bro Gorilla Man. Where are these exhibits at? <laughs> Let me buy some more. Wait, this is the first time. This money. is monumental, ladies and gentlemen. 
he has more money than me. Dirt Boy has surpassed me in the bank account. Mm. Oh, I can't even get the tiger. Stupid thing. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, people, people are paying top dollar to see that tiger exhibit. Oh, crap. I need to get it ASAP. Wait, did you upgrade your conveyor belt? I want to do that. Uh, upgrade. Oh my gosh, only 5,000 to upgrade? No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Yo, it goes so much faster. That. It goes so you don't gotta much do that. faster. You don't got to do that, man. It's all good. Um, I just paid $10,000 in like two minutes. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my hey. gosh, I was, I was being stealthy. Hey. Turn around, bruh. Hey. Bruh. You know what the funny thing is? I, I was being really quiet because I was going to come do the same thing. <laughs> I just took one of your villagers. Let's go. I don't even care. One villager makes zero difference when I have $20,000 pouring into oh my, my conveyor belts. Look at the money what? stacks. Here we go. I need 50K. Oh. Okay, look, 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 look at that. We got polar bears. We have monkeys. We have gorillas. We have giraffes. We have zebras. We have kangaroos. We have tigers. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh I don't my. have bears yet. Wait a second. Where'd you get the bears? I don't know. It was just fun to say. Oh. I don't have bears. Oh, okay. Unless I do. I'm playing mind wait. tricks with you, buddy. Yeah, wait a second. Are you just copying my zoo? I feel like you have a lot of the same exhibits as me. <laughs> well, they pretty much cost the same amount, so there's a limited amount I can buy here. Stop copying me. Oh my gosh. How are you getting so much? money the conveyor belt upgrade along with the tiger exhibit is doing wonders exhibit. for my zoo caring Bro, i didn't realize zoos make so much money i feel like uh, we should probably open a zoo in real life oh my gosh i just made another ten thousand dollars in three seconds my zoo is literally going off right now there are so many people no! here this is the best day ever Wait, where are the I, tigers i trapped myself okay looks like i maybe have like i think four more exhibits yes! to open until i have every single animal in zoo tycoon oh these tigers are sick I, th I don't think your tiger. You have sick tigers. Dirt boy has sick tigers. Everybody come to my no, zoo. No, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> you have rhinos? Um, now I do. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Dang Yo, it! I gotta beat you to one animal. Okay, 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 okay. It's not gonna happen. Okay, okay. are you counting up all the Ks I have? Cause I have 37 K K. Oh wait a second. I thought. Oh, oh crap. Okay. No, no. So I, many wait, monies. This is, yo, this is kind of weird. I just saw these two villagers kissing in my zoo. Kind of oh, weird. Well, Guys, kinda kissing weird. is allowed in my zoo. Bring it in. Kind of strange. You're, you're okay. trying to push people I out. I only need. I think two. Wait, no, three more exhibits. I need the moose, the elephant, and then one other one in the back left corner. <laughs> ah, ah, security's on me. No! Oh my gosh, that was so much money. That, that was so much money. Oh my gosh. I'm still in half. Stolen. Hit. Empty your pocket now. Boy. I gotta get Empty out of here. Empty your pocket now. Let me get the other one. No. <laughs> I gotta go quick. No. Ah, no. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Wait, did I get it? No, you didn't no. get it. No. $25,000. You stole so much of it back. Oh. oh. I'm, like, wow. I'm, I'm literally at $100,000 again. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Dang <laughs> it. I almost got away with it. Your security's actually on me now. He's figuring me out. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I might actually... I might have an idea. Do not buy another one. I think I just <laughs> need to buy a bunch of them. Boop. No. Boop. That actually might be a good idea. Big money moves in three, two, one. Oh, no. One. Wait a second. Are you, to, did you, buy the, you bought the rhinos. Rhino. You don't even like rhinos. I love rhinos. I am a rhino. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Rhinos make that sound. Wait, here we go. Here we go. I have so oh. much cash coming in. I'm racking I'm in the cash now. I'm actually I'm going to be able to get $2.5 million soon. My zoo is about to just destroy yours. That's a lot of monies. Wait a second. Wait a second. At this point. Hold on. Hold on. If I get this upgrade. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 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 What's up, man? You, dude, how many security guards you got over there? Like this 10. is getting a little tricky. Just come on, tr tr try, it just... Ah! try it out. Ah! <laughs> I just walk right by him. They're trash. How? No, no, no. Hey, hey, security, ah! security! Ah! No, there's only ten k. This was not worth it. This was not worth it. Security, security! Get him. Wait, how many securities do you have? I need like Paul Blart. Oh my gosh, up here, bro. He would do a I'm better so job. So dead. No. Oh my gosh. People are following the trend. This okay, zoo there, is there. the best zoo, guys. There has to be so much don't, money. Don't miss no, out. My, my zoo literally has all the same animals as yours, and we also have free cookies. So, I mean, my I don't animals understand. animals are cooler. Your, your zoo doesn't do anything better than my zoo does at, like, at all. Wait, is the next purchase 500K? I think so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's race to 500. <laughs> you are losing that, my <laughs> friend. I am far behind. Yo, and I'm right have... front like that. I'm back at it. I need the villagers to leave and then come back. Oh, no, wait. Did you get the hippos? Uh, What the heck is a hippo? And Hippo? Where is 
is it? Pato, pato, miss. I don't I think I did. Pato. How much, how much were the hippos? $20,000. Oh, that's it? No, wait, there's grizzly bears for 250k. What? I am not I need to go on. I need to explore I was a little just, bit. I was actually just kidding. No, it's just the Here birds. It's just the birds, the, the polar bears, and the monkeys. Ooh, I didn't get kangaroos. Let me get that's kangaroos. fine. What else we got? 70, hippos. I'm getting hippos. What else we got? Grizzly Yo, bears. You might want to okay. start picking up some villagers. <laughs> I'm not that far behind, buddy. I'm catching up quick. And I got a team of bodyguards that are ready to chomp your face off. Grizzly bears. Yo, my zoo is Crap. epic. Grizzly I must bears. have enough. Hippos. Grizzlies. Kangaroo. I just upgraded my conveyor belt. You haven't Hopefully upgraded that it off. yet? That's why. No, max. Max upgrade. I know. Mine's been max upgraded. Oh, it's been? Yeah. All right. I got to do what a man's got to do. I'm stealing your villagers. <laughs> Bro, chill. Going back to the basics here. I, th I thought we were civil. Let's go for a race. Don't don't hit me. Do not touch me. You're going to hit back. your own villager. Drop him now. Drop back him. it up. Drop him. Don't sir, hit sir, me or sir. we both go down. Sorry, you don't have to do this. You you can you can jump <laughs> he away. have a choice. <laughs> Why is just he so walk weak? walk away. Why can't just he just jump away? away? Just walk You're away. You're stealing a man. Right, we're good. Attack! Give me a back! Ah! Ah! Don't take him! No! No! He's mine. Bring him back! No! Hi! Hi! I can see you. I'm running right by your security, and I'm going for the uh, bank. No, 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 no. Ah, that's no, a lot of money! So 200k! Bro. Yes! Yes! Bro. I gotta hit Bro. the other one. Bro. Come Bro. on! Not cool. Come on! Come on! I'm slipping right through. Your security trash. Dude, they don't even hit! No! Yes! You're I almost got it. $100,000. Dang it! You're a savage. That's okay, bad. wait a second. I have enough for the moose. After I get the moose, it Crap. is a race to 2.5 mil. Dude, the moose is carrying right now. I think you need the moose. I'm I don't being know. Honest. I just got another $300,000. I'm at a million. No. No. I'm literally cashing in. I'm still picking up villagers. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that. Yes, I got to pick up the villagers. No, 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 no. Why did I say that? Crap. Ba -ba -do -ba -di -ba -da. Come on, come on, come on. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Free samples at my village. I got to take them away from you. Free samples for all Free villagers. samples of what? All shapes and sizes. You have nothing to no offer No dirt boys allowed. You don't even have a moose. Dirt boys Guys, are not moose. allowed. There is no dirt allowed in my village. None. <laughs> no dirt. Only villagers. You're not even speaking English. Come on, Wait. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, chill. I can chill, take chill, the chill, lead chill, right chill, now. Chill, 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 chill. Ready? Watch this. Psych. Here we go for the lead. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap. I that's, picked up too many villages. That's We're not so good. Close. We are so that's close. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I got to keep no. picking up more. No, 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 no. I only need $120,000. Oh, my. You only need 5K? Yes! No, no. Yes! No. 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 If Go! I beat you to the top, I can Go! win. No. Wait a second. I can't get to my No, roof. I'm so close. I need 400K. Where's my come staircase? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do not press that button. Wait, my staircase is give me, broken. Give me, give me, give me. No, I don't have enough. No, crap. My staircase is broken. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, how do I get up? I need 200,000. How do I get up to my staircase? Come on. Dude, wait, I'm wait, so wait. close. Do you have a staircase? I'm so... I'm not going to tell you. Wait, come wait. On, come on. Yo, what do I do? I literally only need 200,000. Wait, you have to buy a staircase? Yep, yep. You can figure it out, buddy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I have so much money. Oh, yeah. come wait. on. Wait a second. You don't have a staircase either. You, you... Did you buy the elephant? Dude, 2,000, 2,000 more. Come oh, on. Wait a second. If I buy the moose. I bought the moose. You bought the moose? Are you crazy? Wait, is that the only way? I can way? do this. No. Yes, I have no, 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 no. And I have a staircase. Why do yes. I have a staircase? Yes. What is this? What is yes. this? Let's go. I have so much money. Zootopia. <laughs> what? What happened? Why, hello there, Zach. Hi, my name is Zach, and welcome to your new zoo. I will introduce you to the basics of being a great zookeeper. Please follow me. Go on in. Oh, look at that. Zach has his very own little snake, just like I have a bearded dragon on my head. <laughs> Well, we made it inside. To start off, clear the area by using the clear tile tool from trees and bushes to create space for your new zoo. You can now fly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to be the area where I'm going to be opening the Beck Bro Zoo. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, by the way, be sure to check out the link in the description below to download Zoo Builder today. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Okay, so, oh, no, it's moving. It's on my head and it's moving. <laughs> 
<laughs> How am I gonna do this? Okay, with my, my new challenge is to try to go through this entire video with my bearded dragon Tuco on my head. All right, so we're gonna clear out these tiles. Easy enough. Wait, this is actually so cool. So it seems like this entire area is separated into different uh, blocks. Zach said, excellent. We can start out for real. Let's create some sand roads for our visitors. I'm guessing the visitors will come in here and this will be the first thing that they see. So if I go over to the different types of things, we can go over to roads, go over to the theme and then change it to sand. And then now I can place the different tiles. So I can kind of just, oh my gosh. Okay, so I can click and drag. This is the most satisfying thing ever. That was easy. This still looks a little bland though. Add birch trees and road decorations to create some atmosphere. All right, so we're gonna continue to balance the bearded dragon on my head, which is totally not clawing me right now. And we're gonna go over to the trees. So it looks like in your hot bar, you can go through every single different one of the decorations and also the enclosures. So if I wanna place it here, we just, uh, we, might, we might actually need to bomb it first. So we use our clear tile. Never mind, we do not. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we go to uh, place tile and there we go. So it actually gives you a little tiny area where it's going to place. And there we go. We got a birch tree and we got another birch tree. Place a medium sized desert enclosure. Use the rotate tile tool to rotate the enclosure so it fits the area. Okay, I don't know if I can, it's moving more. It's on the side of my head. What am I supposed to do? What if it poops? I managed to get it to my shoulder, so we should be okay for at least a couple minutes. Okay, now we have a desert themed enclosure, so we can change the appearance. Let's go over, I think we want to actually do the large appearance. All right, I guess medium works, so we're going to place it right in here. We're going to rotate it though so that it can actually fit, and then we're going to place it, and there we go. So this is the desert enclosure, and as you guys can probably tell, we're missing out on, well, uh, animals. So if I go back to the creative menu, we can spawn in the different animals, but it looks like it only pops up the animals that you can spawn in once you're inside of the enclosure. So I can spawn in a couple scorpions. <laughs> and I guess we'll have two camels in here as well. Hello, animals. What's up, little scorpions? Wait, we can breed the animals together? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the creative menu. Oh, it's touching me. And if we go directly outside of our enclosure, we should be able to look at the lectern to see what the animals like. All of our visitors can see it. Oh, it's clawing my neck. Oh, it's going to the other, other shoulder. Other shoulder. It's just... It's just hanging on. Okay, so in order to breed it together, oh, it looks like, oh, it's climbing on my arm. Okay, it's just, it's gonna be on my arm for the rest of the video. Okay, so we need to find some wheat. So I think I can actually just go into the creative menu and grab some wheat. Let's see if this works. So we have one camel here. What's up, little camel? And we do another camel over here. Now we have baby camel. Yes, science. It looks so cute. Look at it, it's got two little humps. Okay, let's continue this by placing three more sand roads. We have a lot of area to cover. So you can actually select other tiles that you've already used. So if I use a select tool on this. I can go over here. What? My, it just jumped. My lizard jumped. He's escaping, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. I put him back. We're safe. Let's continue our ginormous Beck Bro Zoo by placing three more sand roads. Go to tap it off. Let's add in an ice cream shop. Yes. Wait, do they have cookie shops? I don't know, but we're going to go to the buildings and then we're going to change the theme over to restaurants. And then if we go through, we should be able to change it to the ice cream shop. And I think it looks good. Okay, the entrance is at the front now. And there we go. We have an instant ice cream shop. Currently, we don't have any people working here, but don't worry. I will fix that in a little. It looks like Zachary wants me to come over and talk to him for a little bit. What's up, Zach? Oh, he said that we're pretty much ready to start out the zoo by ourselves. The bigger that our zoo gets, the more visitors will come. It is now my objective, ladies and gentlemen, to become the biggest, best zoo the world has ever seen. Wait, he deleted all my stuff. What the flip, dude? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I can pop the balloons. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the start. So we're gonna do a little stone. Wait, is this, where'd you come from? What the heck, who, who, wait. Oh, wait, they're spawning in. The big nose villagers. So these must be my visitors. We right now have two visitors. So the more things that I place down and the more enclosures that I build for people to actually look at, the more people will come. Okay, so I'm thinking we should have a really grand entrance. So they'll come in here and then there'll be like a little area for like the kids to play, maybe a little park right there. Right now, the entrance to my zoo kind of looks like Squidward. That's okay, we're just getting everything together. So immediately when you walk in, there needs to be some sort of ice cream and milkshake shop. There we go, we got the milkshake shop. And then directly on the other side, we will have the ice cream shop. So the first thing they can do as soon as they get inside is buy milkshakes or ice cream. That'll get them in a nice happy mood, ladies and gentlemen. Then when they walk over here, there should be some trees and then our first enclosure. So we can go ahead and put a little bonsai tree garden right at the start. I like it. Actually, right next to the ice cream shop, we might be able to have a little petting zoo. That is my favorite thing to do when I get to the actual zoo is go straight to the either aquarium or the petting zoo. So let's try to place that there. So when people 
people come in, they can get milkshakes, ice cream, they can go over to the tree if they would like, or they can go over here to the petting zoo. Now for every single enclosure that I make, I need to make sure that I'm actually spawning in the different animals. If I go to spawn animals, we can have llamas in here that are going to spit in people's faces. That's okay though, we'll have a little chicken farm going. Some sheepies, maybe a cow or two. Oh, we got a little baby. And also pigs, so this is literally just like a farm. We're only having one llama and his name is gonna be Llama Mama Jama. Do not spit on anybody, please. This is a great start. Look, we're already at 24 visitors. Oh, we got 25, let's go. What's up there, little Timmy? Big nose Timmy. <laughs> I think he's gonna go with his dad and get some milkshakes or they're gonna just dance on the milkshake table. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. Whoa. Okay, so it's like some sort of road decoration. So I guess this is like a little jungle gym that uh, somebody can play on. That looks really, really cool. And it also adds to the symmetry. So now if I go over here and then we just plop down some more stone roads. Plop, 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 plop. Wait a second, I just realized too, you can add in fountains. These look nice. Oh, look at that, I found a chest over here. We have a buggy. I think these spawn right at the front, so you can actually use these in order to ride around your zoo. Okay, but now I want to go ahead and kind of section off every single area. So like, if they go over here to the left, this will be like the desert area. So we'll add in some desert roads starting over here. And then what I could do is go ahead and look at the different type of enclosures that are desert themed. So I guess we can go ahead and try to add in a medium sized savannah Vanna enclosure. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, it worked. So let's pick this tile and then we can extend it a little bit over here. And now let's go inside and see what type of animals can be in the savanna. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Okay, so I don't know exactly if I wanna put them all in the one enclosure. Like maybe we could have different ones. So this one could be lions. And I guess rhinos as well. I feel like they'll get along. Wildebeest too, I normally see them in any safari that I'm on. I just need to make sure to not put anything that the lions can eat. So I'm pretty sure lions and cheetahs get along. And I guess we could add one koala bear that could just try to climb and run away. Wait, they're fighting. No, the lions are fighting. No, 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 wait a second. This is literally just like Zoo Tycoon. I would always spawn in all of the animals together in Zoo Tycoon and they would all just fight. So I guess the lions may need to have an enclosure to themselves. Also the cheetahs too. Poor koala bear. He just got wrecked. He was so young. Oh, the wild lion just pounced at the bewilderbeast. Oh no, they're all teaming up on the rhino. Oh, what have I done? I feel so bad. They were just, they were just cute little animals and they got eaten alive by the vicious cheetahs and the lions. Luckily, it seems like those two get along together, so we're just gonna leave this as cheetahs and lions. I guess over in this corner could be a good area to add in a playground. There we go. So you can play around and then watch the lions and the cheetahs. Oh, this looks good. You could actually add in different types of little flowers. And then we could add in a little pond, too. This is amazing. There's, like, so many different customizations. I completely forgot, too. In every single zoo, they have an area where you can get information about the zoo. So I guess that'll be this building over here. Here. So if they want to come in, they can obviously, or actually they have to buy a milkshake or ice cream. Those are the rules of the Beck Bro Zoo. And then if they want more info about the zoo, they can come over here. And then we have pictures of everything available. I guess every zoo as well needs some bathrooms. So we have to add them so people can do their number one and number two. This looks very sanitary. We got 50 visitors. We're doing it. I think right here would be a good spot. And actually it's a t terrible spot for some bonsai trees because the people need to get over and see the information. Now we can also start adding in zoo borders if we want to, but I feel like there's already a very natural border around the side, so I don't think I want to add these. Like, you can kind of add in fences if you want to, but I don't think I'm going to have any enclosures or, like, fences around my zoo. And then I think over here, we can try to add in a massive desert enclosure. I think it should fit right there. This thing is huge. Okay, let's make sure that people have a little walkway so that they can come up and see all the animals that I put inside. I guess we can add in some llamas. But the main things in here are gonna be lots and lots of camels. People love camels and scorpions because that's exactly what I want to see in the, in the zoo enclosure, scary scorpions. Normally, they're not out and about, but I guess in my Minecraft zoo, they're gonna be in ginormous enclosures. We're gonna make this into like a camel scorpion city. This will now be known as Camelback Mountain. have finished this side, or at least we have a lot of different animals over here. We have lions, we have cheetahs, we have tigers, and then we also have Camel Mountain that also coincidentally has scorpions. So I think what we're going to do is expand over in this side. So we're going to need to figure out what type of road we want to expand with. I think a good gravel road will do the trick. So I think we can kind of expand right from here. That actually looks so cool. Okay, so we actually need to clear out some of these tiles as well. So anytime you see like grass or trees, you can use this bomb block in order to 
clear it out. I also forgot to mention too, if you guys do want to try this map out for yourself, there's going to be a download linked in the description below. Okay, the gravel path actually looks so good. Now let's expand it a little bit so that we have area for a brand new enclosure. I'm going to bop these down, give a little boop, bop, beep, boop. Okay, and after I place down this enclosure, we are going to try to put my bearded dragon Tuco on my head for the rest of the video. So far, it seems like he's chilling out. I'm apparently a really good heating pad that keeps him nice and warm. And I'm actually thinking maybe we could look for some sort of enclosure that has lizards. So here we go. Let's look through the enclosures. So we have a couple different themes that we have jungle, we have forest, mesa. The mesa biome actually might have some. We're going to go ahead and make this one super big. I think this is going to be our biggest enclosure yet. Okay, we're going to plop it down in three, two, one. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let's go over here and see what type of animals we can actually spawn in. So we have, uh, wait, have I already done that? Scorpions, elephants? No, okay, we can have elephants, camels, and also scorpions too. So let's go ahead and we will add in the animals. So I need to go back to the creative menu, spawn animals, and now we officially have an elephant enclosure. I don't know if I can add in scorpions because I'm pretty sure that the elephants would crush the scorpions. And I also found out too that we can have baby versions of these. So if I feed them food, they should actually have babies. And I guess we can have our token set of camels in here as well. Sorry, camels, I have some bad news. You're actually adapted. And I guess we'll try one scorpion. Good luck, Mr. Scorpion. Okay, so let's see what they actually eat. Oh, Tuka, Tuka, he's got sharp nails and he's trying to climb up to my head. I guess he actually, he wants to go up to my head. All right, we're gonna do this. For whatever reason, my head is his favorite spot. All right, it happened. Here we go. So the elephant likes to eat wheat. It does not like big cats. So we need to make sure that there's no big cats in here. I think I can just grab wheat from the creative menu and let's try to breed two together. So we have one elephant here, one elephant there. For whatever reason, the, the camels really seem to like it. Here you go. Let's, let's make some baby camels. Little baby camel. Yes, we have a little baby camel. I don't think the elephants are super hungry right now. So let's go ahead and move over to the next enclosure. So we can actually pick this tile and we can make like a little area in between so that people can go up to the elephant enclosure and see inside side of it a little bit better and also get some information. But right next to it, I want to put another enclosure. Okay, this one, we need to find something with lizards. I don't know if there's anything that actually has it, but if there is, we're going to find it. Okay, so the theme, maybe jungle, actually. Let's try to do like a little tiny jungle. Okay, so if we do small, that actually, it fits pretty well. Let's bob that and then we can go ahead and add in the jungle enclosure in three two, one. Uh, let's see what kind of animals we can have. Okay, so we can have tigers, gorillas, monkeys, pandas, and ocelots. Still no lizards. That's okay though. We're definitely gonna find it. All right, so this one, um, I'm thinking this one, I don't wanna have tigers. We already have tigers. This one could be monkeys and gorillas. Okay, we're gonna have two gorillas and then a lot of monkeys. Look, so many monkeys. Actually, fun fact, the monkeys in the exhibits at the zoo when I was younger, they were my favorite ever. I used to actually go up to the monkeys with like peacock feathers and I would literally put it inside of the exhibit and we would have a tug of war. It was me versus the gorillas and the monkeys. Comment down below who you think won. And I guess we can also have just one single panda bear in here and one single ocelot. Tuco is just chilling on my head right now. You guys can like kind of get a good look, but dude, he, I really hope he doesn't poop. He does kind of poop a lot. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, they all do not like tigers, so I'm not going to spawn a tiger in there. Let's see what the monkeys eat because I really want to get like a tiny little cap pooch and monkey. They eat apples. Why would they not just eat bananas? I guess probably because there's no bananas in Minecraft, so you can't really have it eat bananas. Hello there, little capuchin. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, very nice. Very nice. Go, 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 go. Give me a little baby monkey. Did it work? Yo! That is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. What? Wait, I'm surrounded. I'm getting surrounded by monkeys. We're gonna have so many little baby monkeys. What about gorillas? The gorillas are going nuts. I don't know what I did. Tuco, Tuco, you better stay on my head because we're, we're, we're kind of getting a little bit out of control here. I think we're safe. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Yes. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Dude, they're literally swarming. I have no clue how this enclosure actually keeps the monkeys and the gorillas in because I swear they can just climb right over. It reminds me of the enclosures from Madagascar where they had like really, really low walls and the animals could literally just hop over them. Like as soon as I leave the zoo, all of the animals are probably going to get together and then they're going to plot on how they can escape. All right, Tuka, what are we thinking next, little buddy? You obviously can't talk, but I can tell exactly what he's thinking. We have that telepathic connection. Okay, but in order to add the next exhibit, we're going to need to make just a couple more gravel paths. Okay, that looks good. And I think I want to add this just to make the gravel path a little bit thicker. And then I kind of like all the nature over here. So I want to see if maybe I can add in like a little secret exhibit back here that most of the visitors probably won't see. Wait, we got 100 visitors. Let's go. Yo, that's sick. We did it. We're actually like making a successful zoo. All of my years of zoo tycoon are finally paying off. Okay, so this will be the path to the little tiny secret zoo. We're going to make it all the way over here in this corner. We're going to get rid of all of these spruce trees. Tuco, what's going on? 
It looks like he's about to jump. Please do not jump on my camera. Guys, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Okay, okay, we got it. We got to clear this out a little bit faster than I anticipated. Okay, okay, we're going to put a giant enclosure back here. Tuco, I know exactly what you want. Don't even worry. Okay, we're going to go to enclosures. We're going to go back and we're going to try to put a forest. Appearance? Absolutely. Actually, we can't do that. Appearance? Absolutely medium. Oh, this looks sick. Okay, we're going to place it there and let's see what sort of animals we can have. They already found it. This dude literally ran over here as soon as he saw the new exhibit. I guess I have some diehard fans. Okay, let's see what animals we can have. Well, zebra, tiger, elephant, cheetah, lion, rhino, wildebeest, a koala bear, a fox, an otter, and a giraffe. Tuco, I'm so sorry. I don't think there's lizards. Since it's only medium size, I'm thinking I should probably only have medium size animals that don't need a lot of space. So a lot of these I really can't use. But what I'm thinking, we could have a little koala area. There you go, little koala bears. I'm 99% certain that koala bears sleep like 95% of the day. So we might as well add in something else as well, like foxes. These guys are super agile and they should probably run around a lot so the visitors will get super excited and i guess sea otters too since we have a little pond in the middle and i guess we can add in one single zebra to rule over them all he will be king of all of the forest animals oh this looks great okay there we go look wait wait where'd the bumblebee come from now i need to figure out a way to hide this a little bit better so only the diehard fans like this man here with a giant squidward nose finds it so if i go to vegetation we change the theme let's see can i add like a ginormous Enormous pond. I think I can. Okay, let's just plop it down there. That looks so sick. Yo, does somebody leave their child? Is there is there a lost and found? Do I little dude? Do you, do you know where your parents are? Squidward, Squidward, buddy, where, where are you running off to? Actually, get lost, Squidward. Get the heck out of here. I don't even care. There's literally just little children running around, but that means that they love my place, and it's the safest zoo in the entire world. Tuko is moving again. Tuko is literally facing the camera. I think he's getting really, really excited. If you guys haven't already smashed like, Tuko will jump at you and steal all your cookies. What is he doing? What is he doing? He looks like he's gearing up for something, but maybe a. a giant escape. No, no, no. Oh, that's my ear. That is my ear. <laughs> he's making his escape. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's climbing down. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I really... Look, he's trying to escape. He's scratching me. I have lowered him back to my head. We are safe for now. We must continue adding in more enclosures. Can I add a little tiny one right here? Oh, okay. I can. All right, so we're gonna have to clear out a little bit of this area. Sorry, pond. Sorry, little trees. And now we should be able to add it in right here after I get rid of this. And there's a couple people there, so... You guys are now... Oh, wait, they get teleported away. Okay, that's probably for the best. I thought they were just gonna be like a part of the exhibit. But here we have the wetlands, which kind of actually works out since we're right next to the swamp pond that I spawned in. So inside of here, we can have chickens, flamingos, otters, wildebeests, and more chickens. I actually think that I'm able to decorate this too. So in future episodes, I could go through all the different exhibits and decorate them. But for now, Tuko is starting to get really anxious. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we spawn in all the different animals. We're gonna have a little flamingo pond. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure flamingos are pink because of the the shrimp that they eat they eat so many shrimp that they turn pink you could also have a sea otter park here i don't know if a wildebeest is gonna fit oh actually it's not as big as i thought so we can have two wildebeest here they're like giant puppies so they'll kind of just hang out on top of these little tiny stone mountains and then we'll have a chicken who'll be an undercover spy chicken if anything bad happens you report back to me i also want to have an area where people can kind of just hang out so let's go ahead and add that in right here oh this is so cool so people can get some snacks from when they initially come in at the milkshake shop or the ice cream shop. That is the only food I plan to put inside of this entire park. And then they can kind of just like chill out and they can look at the animals right over here. It's perfect. Looks like it worked this time. Tuco's back. All right, Tuco, we got a lot of things to do. It was actually Tuco's idea to add in massive aquariums today. Since we don't have lizards, I think the closest equivalent animal is going to be just any sort of sea creature. A lot of lizards are actually pretty much like semi-aquatic creatures. They're really, really great swimmers, and Tuco is too. Every time I put him in the bathtub, he just twirls his tail around like a propeller. So I think it would be cool if at the center of the entire zoo, we sort of just had like one of each type of exhibit. And the first one I want to place is a ginormous aquarium. So let's see if this works. We're going to go back to the creative menu. We're going to change our type into enclosures. And we already have the aquarium at the ready. Okay, this thing is going to be massive. Tuka, Tuka, he, he, he's leaving. I don't think he likes the aquarium. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess. Tuka, do you like it here? Well, he's not trying to run away. So we're going to place it in three, two, one. This is our brand new Beckbro aquarium. Out, Tuka. He's scratching. He's scratching me. And 
And great, he made his way back to my head. Well, that's not exactly the area that I had in mind, but Tuco kind of forced my hand. So we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, what we can do is add in some tiles over here to go right in front of the aquarium. And then we'll have to fill in the little areas a little bit later. But this is the biggest aquarium. Wait, this is actually super cool. So it looks like at like the sides, there's actually like mini aquariums all the way around. There's little tiny fish. In there. Oh, no, 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 I broke it. Wait, this says brown stained glass. Is that not blue? Even Tuco is very confused. Tuco, Tuco. Ah, why does he do this? He's escaping. He's escaping. It's a prison break. Oh God. Okay. Okay. He's trying to jump on the microphone. Tuco, we're trying to build an aquarium. What is happening? What is back on my head? Okay. Back, back, back on my head. There we go. Okay, cool. I think he's content there. He has never pooped on my head, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if today was that day. So let's actually see what other animals we're able to add into the biggest aquarium. So let's go back to the animals. It looks like there's actually a couple ones. So we already have a ton of fish inside, but we can actually add in sharks. Tuco, should I do it? Let's do it. Oh, okay. So I'm not entirely sure if the sharks will eat the fish. Every single aquarium that I've been to, it normally... <laughs> Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. You don't like the shark. That's fine, I guess we'll have to spawn in a couple sea turtles too. They're they're kind of the similar color as you, they're green. So hopefully Tuco likes the sea turtles. But if not, I guess we can go over here and we can make this a dolphin pool. Oh, Tuco hates dolphins, he's running again. This is an absolute mad lizard right now. He's going crazy. Tuco, we, we got we got bigger and badder things to, to worry about other than escaping, okay? That's a good little bearded dragon. Okay, sweet. So when the visitors come inside, they'll see the sea turtles, they'll also to see the little tiny shark. And then if they go over here, they can see the dolphin exhibit. Now, I wonder if we're actually able to breed them together. So it said that they like to eat raw cod. So if we go over here and right click on them, let's see if we can actually make a little baby dolphin. They're definitely eating the fish, but I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna make a baby. I'm also a little bit curious to see if the the, the dolphins will get along with the sharks. Okay, Tuco, fine. I won't do it. I won't do it. I was just gonna test it, but I'm not gonna do it now. Tuco is feeling awfully sassy today. He is currently planning an escape. I can see him. He's just kind of on my desk right now. So if I run away screen you guys know why. But okay, so we have the big aquarium right now. I kind of want to surround it with a bunch of other sea aquatic creatures. So if we go back to the enclosures, right, we can actually make a mini aquarium if we wanted. Let's place it down and see what it looks like. So this isn't really the best. Actually, it is pretty cool though, because you can walk through the middle. It's almost like a shark tunnel. Wait, we can actually turn it into a shark tunnel. Okay, okay, that's the brand new idea. Okay, so I guess um we can leave it there and it can almost be like a transition from this section to the next section. Tuco has currently jumped onto my lap. He's crawling down my leg. I have captured him. He's now under arrest. Oh my gosh, he's... Okay, okay. Tuco is going in timeout. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, we can uh, officially place down the small aquarium. So what I'm thinking is, right, we can have this sort of be just like a little transition. People can go up to it and they can sort of like walk through. And then this will lead over here to the big aquarium. Okay, I think this looks pretty cool. So you walk through this little area and then it leads you to like the next section of the park, which over here will have the massive aquarium. And then we also cannot forget to go to the spawn animals. And then we need to put just tons of sharks inside. Oh my gosh, bro. This is going to be so cool. Every time when I was a kid and I would go to the aquarium, the sharks were easily my favorite thing. So I need to make sure that every single little kid that is in this park knows that this is the place to see the sharks. It's very possible that it's too many sharks. And it also looks like there might be like a diving board. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to put up a sign. 10 cookies to swim with sharks. Okay, now if any little kids walk up here, they'll know that they need to put 10 cookies in my bank account in order to swim with the sharks. I'm kind of curious what would be in a bamboo enclosure. I don't know if it fits with the theme, but we're going to see in three, two, one. Okay, let's check what kind of animals we can put in here. We can put monkeys, pandas, red pandas, and ocelots. I don't really know if that's what I'm going for. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this, and then let's go ahead and we're gonna change it over to a snow enclosure. Okay, let's see what we're able to put inside of this. So if we go back to the animals, we can put seals, polar bears, and penguins. That's perfect. And it goes with the theme of the aquariums too. So I'm not entirely sure if they'll all get along, but we'll put a couple seals over on this side. We'll put the penguins on top of Penguin Mountain. 
and then we'll put one polar bear over here. He can go over there and like drink Coca-Cola's way. Is he going for the seals? It looks like he's kind of, yep, he's going directly for the seals. So I'm not entirely sure. We're probably not going to be able to have seals in here. Actually, the seals are able to swim. So the polar bear is just going to play a game of Marco Polo with all of the swimming creatures. Well, good luck seals and penguins. This polar bear is literally just going to be busy all day, every day. I also want to switch up the paths here. For whatever reason, I'm not entirely a huge fan of the stone paths. It just doesn't look super natural. Like in most zoos that I've been to, they kind of have the stone paths when you first go in and then the paths sort of change. Most of them are like dirt roads or gravel roads. So I'm a big fan of this dirt road here. I think the polar bear just gave up. He stands no chance for the mountain of seals and also penguins. I think it might look cool to add in some flower decorations around the area as well. Oh sweet, we just got 150 visitors. By the way, if you guys do want to try this out for yourselves, there'll be a download link to this map in the marketplace in the description. So I really like these flowers too, just because they're blue and they sort of match with the next section of the park. We could also add in a couple trees over here to sort of block off the aquarium so that they know they have to go through this area in order to get to the massive aquarium. And then at the center of the park, I'm thinking I can add in a giant food station. 